So when don't you need to do a thumbnail? When can you just sort of sketch around and go for it or draw without a plan? Let's look at this and I'll show you a couple of examples where I do this and how I sort of fit that into my process. So there are instances where I'll be creating things and I won't necessarily start with a thumbnailing process, right? I'll always kind of probably have a sketch or a phase where I'm really, really thinking about how I'm going to compose the image, but it may not necessarily involve me drawing small um, and it may not involve me drawing like a lot of iterations, okay? There's two different situations where this is the case, right? So this image we can see here is one of them and that's where I'm basically specifically trying not to do it that way. Um, in this instance, I'm sort of trying to replicate the sort of sketchbook drawing that I do where often I just have a sketchbook page and, you know, I'm just sort of going for it, right? I'm not necessarily doing it professionally. Um, this is just sort of personal work and sort of drawing practice. And I have found this can be very, very beneficial to help you, and it certainly helped me, but I think it can help you to practice bridging the gap between the rough drawing and the finished drawing, right? And not get quite so locked into, again, that idea of like, oh, I have to, everything has to have like this sort of tight process. Now, again, that's how I do it. It's not how it should be done. It's not how I'm teaching it, right? But that's the reality, right? Is like often one of the skills I was trying to build um, was to draw quicker and again to be able to apply my line and color process to the concept art phase. So in the previous video where I was talking about my approach I sort of showed some of those concept art images where I'm saying hey I just sort of went from here to here right how do you do that? Well firstly that's again it is an advanced technique to do that or at least that's in my sort of process and in my world that's taken me a long time to get there and I think if you're still figuring out how to put together a very polished image, there's very little value in trying to figure out like, you know, how to, you know, do the same thing without, you know, like just by sort of going and drawing on the page. But there is something to be said for thinking about and practicing your ability to kind of just have a page in front of you and draw something on it that is good, right? Or that you can kind of, you, you, you're happy with, okay? Now, the thing there is that's not how to create a highly polished professional illustration. That's kind of how to practice and sketch around on our own and, um, you know, again, develop our drawing ability, develop our eye, right? So this is something that I do and I feel like it can help our, com our compositional skills, but it is highly unreliable, okay? And that's really the key. So it doesn't fit into a lot of what I'm sort of trying to teach where I'm saying the more reliable and the more overlap you have in your process, the more relaxed you're going to be. This is something you can do when you either uh, sort of get bored, right, and you want a challenge, or when you're just very sure that this could turn into a giant mess, right? And if it does, you just kind of keep going and throw it in the bin, right? Um, but again, this is something where I feel like uh, it is an important part to drawing, right? Like just drawing and sort of trying to put together a page. And this is how I would sort of do it. So this is a digital sort of version where basically all I did is, and I think specifically from a process standpoint, I, let's see if I can uh, full screen this or that's not going to go, not going full screen how I want. Um, if I can sort of fit it to the screen roughly. Right, and so this is sort of how I would approach this, okay? So I start with a very rough version. And this really is a thumbnail, it's just done big. Um, and again, it, it's, it's a rough plan for the image. I'm not doing it small, I'm doing it sort of large. And um, what I'm trying to do is think about the same compositional things that I would do when I'm sort of planning small, I'm just doing it big, right? And uh, I'm not iterating. So it's like, it's one shot. This is what I'm doing. And again, my expectation going in is very clear. This could be a huge, giant mess. This could turn into something awful. And if that's the case, you would never see it, right? And there probably are a few of these things where, you know, I got halfway through and I was like, yeah, you know, this is not working. Let's throw it in the bin. Um, 
you know, but I think that that can be a very good thing to do, right? And you don't have to do it with a whole scene. Again, that's something that's quite an advanced um, sort of, you know, level of drawing, right? To be able to put all those things together at once. Um, it's something to aspire to, and, I, and, I, and I'm sure you'll be able to do it, do you know what I mean? If you practice all these things and get your foundation working. Um, but, you know, it, it's not something where I'm saying like, hey, try this, you know what I mean? I don't think that's going to get you that much better um, until you've got some of those other things sorted out. Um, like perspective and the basic sort of foundational stuff. So, again, this is sort of an example of how that process would go, right? I would sort of then just sort of keep drawing. Um, so I start with a very light pencil, right? And we sort of just keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, right? And we sort of end up with, you know, a, a fairly sort of sketchy, um, but, you know, sort of complete image. And then I sort of color it up. So this is something I've really found to be useful to, and it is actually useful for improving composition because it trains my eye to really think on the fly and try and make something out of uh, nothing. And I think that's really good, right? Um, and again, I would do the same process in my sketchbook often where I just have a sketchbook page and I try and draw a scene, right? Um, and uh, even though I might have a little plan for it or something like that, or I'd sort of draw a rough version of it, you know, I'd sort of rough it in first, right? Um, it, you know, it, it, it's something where I'm not doing the iteration and the ideation phase. It's just kind of like think about it and go, see where it goes. It's good for training your eye, right? But you have to be, again, for the millionth time, you have to be prepared that it's going to turn into a giant mess and you're going to be unhappy with it. Um, so again, if we sort of look at how that um, sort of turned out, right, that was sort of the color color version. Um, and this one is is another sort of thing done in done in a sim with a similar sort of process, right? It's just kind of, I just full screen it and I just draw, right? And, um, you know, and, and it, it is what it is. Now, I would say like, um, you know, I, I, I think these are kind of cool and they're, they're sort of interesting. Um, I don't think they're the most successful images I've done, right? And again, what I was sort of interested in was like, you know, how can I just sort of draw quickly and effectively, you know, again for, you know, you know maybe I that this would allow me to do a much rougher sort of uh, thumbnail for my sort of comics or something like that. So I'm basically building my drawing skills by giving myself a challenge. And, um, you know, I think that can be useful. If it's something you want to try, certainly try it, um, but it's not reliable, right? Um, you know, for instance, I think uh, a lot of people, you know, sort of tend to respond better to this image, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, this one had, you know, a thumbnail plan, right? Um, it, it was sort of planned. And you can see that it's more planned and organized, you know what I mean? And all those sort of things uh, work. Um, what's, what's this one? Yeah. So again, I, I feel like, um, you know, this would be a, a similar sort of thing. That's a little bit in between, right? Where probably I just did like a rough little sketch there and then I just kind of go over it. Right. But I'm sort of making up a lot of these, a lot of these things on the fly, right? A lot of this other stuff, this peripheral stuff is kind of just me sort of sketching around. Right. Um, and a, a, you know, a fair bit of my personal work is kind of done that way. Um, because, uh, you know, it, it's sort of, um, again, I'm training different things. Um, again, if we sort of look at this image, if we sort of go back, um, and sort of check the, the process, oh, you can see there was one that didn't get finished. Um, that just kind of like disappeared into the ether. And, uh, this was like, a, again, a blurry little thumbnail that I sort of drew. And again, then we sort of like iterate iterate um so again it's not it's not i'm not saying like you know you need to do 20 thumbnails or you know we need to sort of you know plan out everything to add infinitum all the time the idea is you're going to improve your ability to create finished polished illustrations by completing a proper sort of thumbnailing process and if you're struggling with composition and you know you're really struggling to get all those things to work then you know that's how you do it right we we improve the thumbnail phase and um, I'd say, again, my ability to draw those little sort of sketches um, in my sketchbook, you know, or like where I fill a page and try and make a scene or something, you know, similar to this, 
Um, I'm drawing on a lot of the compositional skills and a lot of the thumbnailing I've done in the past, right? So it, it's kind of, it's all really the same thing. I'm just sort of pushing my comfort zone a, a tiny little bit. Um, and again, it's unreliable and I'm sort of, I'm committing to that. Um, the other situation where I don't use it is if it's just such a simple composition that you don't need to, right? In this case, it's like, well, I'm just drawing a character in the middle of a frame, right? Uh, what could go wrong? Uh, you know, and there's not a lot of stuff to really consider. So, you know, sure, you know, if we're doing that, there's not a thumbnail process. The other thing is sometimes I will kind of just be, again, sketching in my sketchbook. This is an example of that. Um, if I can sort of find the, here's sort of the, the lines. So this is just a sketchbook drawing. And what I've sort of done is I sort of scanned it in and then um, I'm kind of just sort of like arranging it. You can see it actually has a whole, it has a whole other thing. And this is more where you're, you're doing what a photographer does where, you know, you, you, you sort of sit there and you kind of try and move it around the, the, the frame that you sort of given, which is a basic square Instagram frame and kind of say like, what, what would look cool? Right, would it would look cool here or here or here, right? So again, that's another good way to kind of train your compositional eye. You, you can try and like sort of do a sketch as long as it's simple. You can't do that with a giant scene, but you know, if you're just sort of doing, um, you know, like characters and stuff, think about, you know, doing a sketch and then just kind of arranging it and, and trying to get, again, that design um, of it to, to work the best, right? So again, it's kind of like move it around right and um you know then sort of color it up right and, and again try and make the abstract background and those sorts of things um play into that right so again those are the situations where i don't use a thumbnail and um you know i, I feel like sometimes it can be more fun to just kind of draw and not really know what you're drawing um the process and the burden of kind of you know you know, sitting there and really figuring it out and, and trying to, you know, create this big illustration is kind of can get tiresome sometimes, right? And I do understand that. So, you know, you, you can obviously sketch around and, you know, you can experiment, you can try these things. As long as you just understand that the path to creating highly polished images that have like strong narrative where you've got multiple things going on um, and the path to becoming sort of uh, a professional artist where you can sort of work with other people and those sorts of things um, is really the path goes directly through Thumbnail Town. And um, I, I think it's worth spending a lot of time there. And, and, and I think, uh, again, even though some of those things, are, you know, some of those images that I've done have been very enjoyable for me. Um, it's interesting because I feel like, you know, they don't always end up as, a, as you know, my best images. So uh, I think, again, the, the great images are planned. That's in my experience. That's, um, that's the case. Um, but sometimes, you know, again, it's really fun to just play around. And I think it is really important to train your eye that way, right? Like, um, you know, just sort of planning out and drawing something on the fly um, will teach you a lot about sort of, you know, how to handle it and how to think on your feet. Um, but yeah, don't be surprised if that, if that, if that doesn't work out. Um, anyway, good luck with this. Uh, hopefully that's sort of clarified again. You know, sometimes I, sometimes I just draw stuff. Um, and, uh, sometimes it turns out great and sometimes it doesn't.